Hey, hello everyone, Jose J. Garcia with Garcia Mahome University here. So bringing you video on choosing your investment goals. Heard a few people ask that over this last coaching we had, and it's uh, it, it's always that same back to, you have to focus your investment goals, but to better define your investment goals, you have to be able to define what, be, what best suits you, what best fits you in a sense of exit strategy. You know, many times you may be having these goals and it's all about reverse engineer. That's fine. We can walk you through that as well, also in coaching. But it's what best fits you in exit strategies. A lot of people are getting into this small home investing and they don't really know but one. Maybe come in, take a beat up mobile home, rehab it and rent it out. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. You want to become a landlord? Welcome to Landlord Game. OK, there's that. But what about the rehab and quick turn? Oh, quick flips. Maybe you just want to do X amount of amount of uh, rehab, make it livable, presentable, and go ahead and sell it out. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to be a landlord. Just buy it and we're good to go kind of thing. That's okay too. What about creating a note? What about financing? What about a rent to own? Okay. All those create passive income, same like a rental, just of course there's a cutoff date at, at a certain amount of time. Once that agreement is fulfilled, but that's an option as well. Then to add to that, I mean, you can all, there's, there's many ways to be creative financing when it comes to mobile homes and selling them. Um, you know, wholesale is obviously huge there still. You can be a simple connector as well and connect a buyer and a seller and make the money in between. Make a difference up, right? Marking them right. That, that's a whole difference for brand marketing and advertising. But then you have also the moving a mobile home. You don't hear a lot of people doing that. Well, there's there's slowly transitioning because there are there is money to be made there. And it's about moving mobile homes. Scares a lot of people, especially newer people when they're coming in because of the permits, inspections is a lot more, uh, it's a lot more hands-on kind of thing until it actually goes to the point where it's getting moved. Then it's hands-on. But uh, trying to set it up, make sure that the county where the home is going accepts that with the year make model, maybe even a pitch roof or not. Um, if uh, if the mover's going to need a special <laughs> instructions, it just there's a lot to go hands in hands. But again, this is just one more exit strategy that does exist. There's a lot of mobile home parks that you might have visited, and you notice that you have mobile home after mobile home, and then suddenly you have a gap. There's two paths there, but there's no mobile homes on them. Why is that? Well, you know, a few things could have happened. Maybe one got burnt down. It had to be demoed. One got demoed just because of how bad it was. Maybe those pads have never been filled. They were made when this park was created years and years ago. You know, they're not making new parks now. But uh, and now nobody has put a mobile home there. The owner kind of just blah goes with it. You know, it's been baking this time and just so needed it. So that's it. That's an exit strategy that you can choose and supply mobile homes directly to mobile home park owners. Good money to be made on that. You can also be moving mobile homes maybe to uh, private pieces of land where you're creating it into real estate once you do retire the title onto the home. I know I'm talking fast. We're just talking exit strategies here. So anything that I say on here that you want more specific, send me an email, jayatgarciamhu.com. I will slow it down. I will be specific on some of that because I'm on what I just said is pretty big. Retiring a mobile home title to a mobile home. You could be adding a lot of value to that one mobile home that a lot of people not only don't believe exists, but uh, goes against the stigma of mobile homes depreciate. So it's, that's something that's huge on that. But yeah, just uh, when you think of investment goals, know that you have to think of exit strategies. Those two have to go hand in hand. You know, I want passive income. Okay, well, then that's fine, but you're going to have to create the, the passive income that comes from properties, which means coming in, rehabbing them, or buy moving ready. Some investors do go out and you know, they work up a deal with other investors where you rehab it, I'll be your buyer, and you're just going to have to give me at a discount once you have it moving ready. Go about it that way if you have the money for it to that. Then you just turn it into a long-time rental or, you know, even a longer rent to own, whatever you decide. But it is passive income that you're after. That's about what you would be looking at. So, all right. I hope this video helps on exit strategies and investment goals. Hey, you have to have those defined before you can get started, by the way. You know, at least the thought of. You can just jump in and we'll just swing it. You don't wing life, you don't wing into success, so plan it out. All right, thank you. Thank you for watching.